Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I am going to show you that in our Shopify store, how we can display color variants as individual products on collection page. This video is specific for Smitric theme. If you have any other theme, then you should go to www.shopwebsitecodes.com and there I have already published code for other themes. Let me show you an example of the feature which we are going to develop in this video. So here you can see on my screen that all the products are displaying with their color variants. And this thing helps us to provide different color options to our customers. So for say example, we have multiple products and we have different variants of each product. But those variants are only visible to the customer when customer is visiting to our main product page. If customer is coming to main collection page where we have list of all the products, then definitely he will only see single variant. So to display all the options to our customer, we need to implement this feature. So in that way, you can actually present all the possibilities for the purchase to customer. And that's how you can increase the sales of your stores overall. You don't need to learn any kind of coding skill because I have already documented each single steps. You only need to follow the step along this video and then you are done. Only need to copy and paste the codes. That's it. Here is the current situation of our store. So you can see that I have this home page. If you will scroll it down here, you can see that we have featured collection. So we have different products uh, presenting here. But if you are coming to the catalog, that means main collection page. Here also we can only see some of the products which are listed here. These are the all products which we have, but we have the color variants as well, but not displaying here. So let's implement this feature step by step. So the first thing is you should go to the uh, dashboard of the store. And here you can see that I have already installed Smitri theme. So the first step is to duplicate this theme. I mean, take the backup of this theme. Click on these three dots, click on duplicate. So in that way, you will able to create a backup of this uh, current published theme. And later on, if you want, you can undo the changes. So let's move ahead with the coding part. Click on these three dots again, click on edit code. And once you are clicking on edit code, then you will be finding some files and folders here. So let's uh, continue all these things step by step. I have already downloaded the code, so I will be adding the link below in the description. You just need to download a zip file. And once you are, you are extracting that zip file, you will be getting all these files here. And the first thing is you should open document.txt. And here in this file, you will be getting all the steps which we need to follow along with this video. So here is the documentation. So the first step is like create a new snippet and the name of that snippet is color dash variant. So let's create this new snippet. Click on snippets, click on add a new snippet and right here color dash variant and then click on done. So in that way, you will create an empty file of uh, color variant and inside of it, we will be pasting the attached code, which is this one. So open this file color dot variant and select the complete code. And uh, then after you need to paste all the things right here and then click on save the changes. Once you save the changes, then you need to close this file and again need to follow the documentation. In the second step, we have to create another new snippet. The name of that snippet will be color dash product dash block. Copy this name and click on add a new snippet paste it here and then click on done. So in that way, you will create another snippet file and inside of it, we need to uh, put the attached code, which is this one. So just copy this complete code and paste it inside of this empty file and then click on save. Once the changes are saved, again, you need to close this file and we have the third step, which is go to sections, open feature dash collection dot liquid. So where is that? We have sections. We have feature dash collection dot liquid and inside of it, what we have to do, we have to replace this complete line of code with this one. So how we'll be finding out uh, which line of code we need to replace. So the best thing is like you should search this keyword product dash block. And I have found that here as well as here. So you need to go to the second one. So this is the first one. And this is the second one highlighted inside of for loop. And you need to replace this product dash block with color dash variant because all the other things are same. Only change is uh, this product dash block. We need to replace this with color dash variant. So we need to replace this with color dash variant. 
and then click on save. Once the changes are saved, then again you need to close this file and move ahead with the fourth step. The fourth step is like we need to uh, go to sections again, open man-collection.liquid. So here is that. Here we have sections, scroll it down and we have man dash yeah we have man dash collection dot liquid so we need to click on that and again we need to find out this product dash block which is highlighted here so you need to uh, press ctrl f or maybe command f and in that way you will be able to uh, search it and this will be highlighted automatically so again we have this complete line we need to replace with this complete line and you can see that all the content is same except this uh, these two words like color dash variant so again you need to replace this product dash block with color dash variant and then click on save so once the changes are saved then again you need to close this file and let's move ahead with the fifth step which is go to sections open man dash search dot liquid so where is that scroll it down or maybe a little up and you will see man dash search dot liquid so all these files are under sections and then you need to search again product dash block and here we have product dash block so we here also we can see that we have two highlighted so the first one this one we need to replace with this one so you can see that all the things are same except this color with dash variant you need to copy this color dash variant and inside of single code you can replace product dash block with color dash variant again you need to save the changes once the changes are saved then you need to close this file and now it's time to test because we have implemented all the steps according according to the documentation let's move ahead with the testing part so here we have all the products displaying let's refresh the page again amazing here you can see that all the products with their color variants are displaying. So that's how we were implementing to uh, show, we were doing the implementation to show all the color variants and how beautiful this is now. And if you are coming to the home page, you can see that in our home page, we have multiple color variants displaying. All right. So this is looking more beautiful than before. Can you see? And if you are coming to the shop page again, so that's how this is looking now. All right, so looking amazing. So if you stuck somewhere or you have any problem with the implementation, you can directly contact me. I will help you in that. Uh, if you are new on this channel, then please like this video. Also subscribe this channel. Make sure to visit on www.shopwebsitecodes.com because I have already published a lot of snippets over there. So according to your theme, you can actually uh, download it and use it. And if you are facing an issue, then directly contact me. I will help you in that. If you have any new feature to develop or maybe you have any customization to do. So I am here to help you out in that as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next video.